Hi guys, thanks for buying my template. Okay, so let's see how this works. It's very easy. So once you open the template, you see here on the right the folder logo and text. Open it up and double click on this uh, layer logo here. As you can see, we have now this layer and we're going to simply click file, place and go to get your favorite logo. I'm going to use the Embato White for uh, this example. Okay. Another thing we have to do now is to resize it. So just click on the small lock here to keep the proportion and then just resize it. You see here, guys, I put some guidelines. Try to stay into these guidelines with your logo so that we are not going out our particles later. Okay, great. So we have placed our logo. We click Control S to save it or file save. And then we can, we can go back to our main composition. We have put our logo, as you can see, and you can also change the tagline, clicking on the other smart object like this one. And here we are on our tagline. If you don't see you, what, you're, what you're writing, simply click on the black background here. With the type tool, simply feel free to write anything you want. In this case, I'm just going to rewrite Envato.com. Remove the black background. And remember, guys, that if you want to align those two smart objects, you have to do it from inside the smart object, not into the main composition. So if you are happy with this position, feel free to save both of our smart objects and go back to our main composition. Okay, so basically we have placed our logo and tagline. As you can see, this is a quick final result. I'm pretty happy with it. Another thing that uh, you can do guys is uh, simply clicking here in the particles video group. I've made a couple of layers where you can change the color and the vibrance of uh, the particles. So let's switch on our color like that one and double click here to get into the photo filter. Simply click here on the color and choose your favorite color. As you can see, we can simply change the color of our particles. Choose the one that you like the most. Let's keep this one and see if you're happy. Great. So basically this is it, guys. I've also put here on the very end a small uh, fading to black. That's the layer. As you can see, this is going to disappear to black so that we can easily loop our composition. Perfect. So basically, this is it. Once you're done, uh, you can decide if you want to save it as an animated GIF. Simply click File and Save for Web for a GIF or File Export Render Video. If you want to render a video to, for example, uploading on YouTube on your favorite channel or your website. And that's it, guys. Thanks for following and uh, enjoy the animated template. Bye.